All right, guys, it's a little cold this morning. Cutting some vents out of the wall. I think I'm gonna use some of the insulated R8 value flex insulation, and we're gonna run it from here all the way under to the back side, and then possibly another one up top on the top of the bench all the way down here. If that gets in the way of the sliding router, then we're gonna go ahead and put it on this side of the box up top so that we get air pulling from here and coming out against the inside, getting a nice airflow in the chamber. Yep. All right. You guys can get the idea of what's going on here. Box in a frame. These legs were a little wobbly, so I had to bend the two by fours and cut the the uh, beams a little bit different lengths. But who cares? It's great for a storage bench. That ductwork is now going to run all along the bottom of this, and then I left this side open because that is where I'm going to attach the engine to push the air. So, and then we'll seal up the bottom after all this is done too. We got to get the top table and bars on. Oh, we're getting close. And we're going to get this track welded down today. I'm going to have to move all this junk out of the way. So close. Once this track's welded, I can finish the doors and build the doors around those ends of the track. And then I can put the silver board up, seal it all, start baking some wood. I'm uh, underneath. <laughs> This is what I got going on. I'm leveling this just above the ground so I can put some boards there. And yeah, I have a little bench spot. So this spot's gonna be open and the holes are cut for the vent. And then the vents are gonna get strapped underneath those two by sixes. <laughs> Guys, I'm super stoked. Look what came in the mail. Variable speed. Eight inch duck booster fan for the duck. And I got two of them, because we're doing two of them. So, we're gonna be eventually, I can get this stuff separated. All right, edit this shit out for later. Yes, we'll do that to the other one too. All right, bricks and slabs, we got Scott up here uh, gonna weld this track together inside of our box today, our dehydration kiln. Hello. Hello. And we're getting ready. We're also building the ventilation shafts right here. They're gonna go under the workbench flattening table. Um, there's gonna be the duct work there that'll go in and then uh, we'll put something to protect everything. Yeah, we got some fans that are coming, some uh, duct booster fans that we're gonna hook up. Create a wind tunnel. Yeah. So here we are with the eight inch flexible duct work. This bad boy is about to get hooked up and I am uh, pretty excited about this. Should create some airflow in the tunnel. We'll be able to figure that out soon enough. Guys, we are fired up and live. Oh, and that puppy is drawing really good. I wish I had something to show you guys. Give you an idea of the draw. Look at these things. 
Now we come down here, it's really dark. Oh man, that's great. So those are $8 boots for Lowe's. It's like uh, $60, $70 worth of insulation, $6 straps and some staples, $50 engines from eBay. Um, I don't know what they are. They're quiet and is awesome. I don't know if that's zooming in. I have a lot of light back here. Um, they do run off 110. I'd like to find some of these that are 12 volt that run off my solar panel. That's a 200 watt draw that I need to get another two or three of these and get a battery bank. Eventually this thing's going to be run off solar and not cost me a dime. But yes, the wind tunnel works great. I just got to finish insulating the back wall of the inside. It's almost done. Make the front door. Move this pile of slabs out of the way. Michael out here, helping out today. You. Yeah. random Tuesday and we finally got everything stacked up outside we're gonna cover this we stickered it uh, we're gonna strap it here in a little bit we have gotten the garage if you guys want to see the workshop I know a couple of you on YouTube were saying you want to see it this is the workshop it is uh, still got some silver board that needs put up inside this box the back needs uh, closed and another moisture layer I need a piece of wood on the top uh, and the track has been welded so we just got to build a cart for it and the AC vent systems are working amazing on both sides. Just need to get some vents to direct the air.